What's up guys, Captain Ron here with another video. As I told you guys, we are gonna be doing some information from Sinclair Community College, my college that I'm going to for my automotive studies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this down to a couple different videos. One of them is gonna be actually a video just giving you guys a little bit of a tour of the place, what they have inside, what you guys can expect to see, and then future videos are gonna be about um, the classes, the courses, the instructors that we have here and just what you can expect to get out of a Mopar cap program or any sort of automotive program that you guys get into. So let's go check it out. So as you guys walking into Sinclair Community College, first thing you're gonna be greeted with is gonna be their lobby area. Uh, lobby area is gonna be pretty much any of the standard lobby area. However, they got some cars in here to kind of show off what kind of automotive programs they have. Some of the automotive programs that they specialize in are the Performance Automotive Network Program, which I believe covers the Honda, um, Honda program. They also have the automotive uh, Mopar cap program, which is your Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep. And they also have the GM ASEP program. So they offer three big courses here for whatever line of work you want to get into. Um, also have some other vehicles that are over here just to show off. Pretty awesome vehicles. And then you have the main lobby area where they also have um, some other, I guess, side programs that you can get into. Um, high or high performance, if you realize like working and building your own engines, uh, building high performance engines, they also offer that. They have a wide array of transmissions and engines that have been built over the years for display over here. Um, I know they also have a car club that they do um, races with they'll do drag races they'll do timed races so that's another thing to expect if you wanted to come here and look into some of the clubs that they have available most of the classrooms are set up like this with plenty of ample seating for all the students along with projectors whiteboards and even some of these rooms have lifts and diagnostic TVs to hook, hook equipment up to so if they needed to pull in a car to do teaching in the classroom they could pull it right in hook it up to the exhaust system, start it up, and you guys could work on it right here in the classroom alongside with the information that would go on the whiteboard itself. So not only do you get classroom learning, but you also get in the lab hands-on training as well. The lab comes standard with 12 two-post lifts, three alignment racks uh, with hunter alignment equipment, from the oldest to the newest, so you get a good broad range of everything to work with. Um, not to mention tools, exhaust systems, and even lab technicians that are here to help you when the teacher's not around uh, or the instructor's not available to help you. They'll come out, they'll give you a hand, they'll teach you everything you need to know as well, and they are very well uh, versed in what they do, what they know, uh, just like a teacher would be. So they're here to help you along the way just as much as what you're actual teacher is all right guys with me i got jake he's one of the lab technicians and he's going to tell you a little bit about what he, what his role is in the lab and what you guys can expect to have uh here at sinclair so jake what's up hey how's it going a uh, couple things uh, my role here in the lab is to make sure students uh, operate the lift safely uh, 
assist with uh, shop equipment, uh, upkeep and uh, maintenance, uh, assist uh, instructors as necessary with uh, instruction in the uh, in the lab. Okay. So. And how long have you been? How long have you been in Sinclair? Uh, a little over two years. Two years. And you yep. Enjoying it so far? Oh yeah, it's yeah. a great place to work. Okay. Uh, what's uh, What's your thoughts about the school and the programs that you guys offer here? Oh, it's a great program. Uh, I personally went through the program uh, probably about 12 years ago, and uh, it really prepared me for industry. Uh, I worked, you know, worked out in the industry for many years, and then uh, ended up coming back here. Cool. So, um, any words of encouragement or advice for uh, wannabe technicians that want to get into doing automotive school? I would say uh, effort and attitude are the two biggest. Uh, I mean, that's with anything, you know, no matter where you're at. But uh, uh, be prepared to put in a lot of work. Uh, be prepared to study. Uh, you'll want to get as much as you can from here because uh, we've got great faculty uh, with a lot of experience, a lot of information available. Uh, that they're willing to share with students, but uh, that's the big thing is being being willing to uh, to learn. Yeah, that's definitely true. I mean, I've even in the courses that I'm taking, um, I see people who they put 110 percent into it, and I see people who put 10 percent into it. So if you guys want it, you definitely got to want it, and you got to work for it to make it work. So Jake, I appreciate you taking a few minutes with me, no and uh, hopefully uh, you'll see some people from here here eventually. Awesome. So, all right, guys, we're going to head over to uh, a couple of the other labs. We're going to take a uh, uh, tour of some of the other areas of this campus, and then we're going to wrap up the video. So let's go take a look at some other stuff. And not only do they have actual rooms for doing your courses and doing your training in there, but you're gonna have automotive training that you're gonna to have to take on the computer as well. So St. Clair also offers a full computer lab just for people to come in, do their testing. Um, even outside companies will come in here and do testing from time to time as well. So do have a full computer lab to use uh, at your disposal for all of your testing purposes. So heading upstairs, I'm gonna give you guys a view of down here. Not only does Sinclair have a awesome automotive department. They also host uh, labs from a uh, fire training center. So I'm giving you guys just a few glimpses right here, but they are actually doing firemen training and safety courses. Um, this is where a lot of them come to get their certifications and graduate through fire science technology. So not only do they do automotive, we also do fire science as well. So one of the cool things about Sinclair is that if you come here to visit, take a tour, they're gonna to take you around and you're gonna walk around up on the second floor looking down on all these classrooms. They have a very open policy on what you can look for, what you can look at. So here's the lab I showed you a few minutes ago. Uh, here is the automatic transmission lab that I'm currently taking a class in right now. And then just on the other side of this wall is the engines lab where you will take apart engines. They also have in the evenings a high performance engine um, class that they teach at night for people who want to do the high performance engines. Um, once you actually build an engine in this class, you can actually take it to another room that I unfortunately don't have access to show you guys right now, but it's a full dyno lab. You can hook your engine up there, you can rev it, you can test it and make sure there's no problems with it. You can even put it into a car, bring the car in and run it on a dyno to see how your engine and how your car is doing um, in a performance setting. They also have a full lobby area for you to sit down, have lunch in between your classes if need be, um, along with on the walls, both sides, are pictures of past graduates of each program as itself. Um, so you've got over here on this side, you've got the CAP program students, and let's see if we can find him real quick. Check out that guy right there. That's Mr. Rust Belt Mechanic himself. And if you don't like to eat inside, there is an outside area just overlooking the river that runs through Dayton, Ohio. Um, typically it's not this high, but we've had a lot of rain lately. Um, but right across the way, right over here, that is the rest of Sinclair's campus. So if you come here and you take the automotive program, 
you are going to have some other classes you're going to have to take. Your English, your math, sociology, humanities, and a couple other courses themselves. Um, those classes, they are going to be held over on that portion of the campus. So at some times, you're going to have to walk across the bridge, get over to campus, do your other classes over there, and then come back over here and have classes here at Sinclair at this building. Well, guys, that's about all I got for you for today. Just want to give you a quick tour of my campus here at St. Clair uh, Community College. Um, let you guys see what I get to work with uh, on each and every semester I'm here. We did get to talk to one of the lab technicians, which gave us a little more insight on what his job is here and what he does to help. Coming up in some of the next videos, we're going to have a talk with some of the other coordinators for the other programs. Um, if you guys watched any of Rust Belt's videos, we already did a sit-down talk with Tom Friels, who's the CAP coordinator for the Mopar CAP uh, Mopar CAP program at St. Clair. Uh, we may have another talk with him, but we're also going to talk with some of the other guys who run the ASEP and the um, Honda program, just to kind of get you guys a kind of a broad spectrum over what you can expect to see at a college. Now granted, not every college is going to be set up just like St. Clair is, but it'll at least give you a little bit of insight on what to expect. So if you have any questions for those CAP coordinators or for those coordinators that run those other programs, leave those in the comments below. I'll make sure to put them in and I'll ask them whenever I have the interviews with them. But until next time, Captain Ron signing off. We'll see you next time.